Hi and welcome to Rainy Day Crafting. Okay, today we're going to do a quick Mother's Day card. Or can, oh, oh, although I'm going to do a Mother's Day card. I've actually got my mother one in the post because I didn't go to do this earlier. And cut a long story short, my video mapped up, so I'm now redoing it. So, but this lovely little um, easy peasy, um, pretty quick, impressive results at once is quite lovely. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a two part die. But I'm not advocating you go out and buy this because, you know, you might have a die um, of any design you want to maybe put on your card. But if you've got any of those um, um, oh, nesting dies, you know, you can get them in all different heart, you know, all different shapes and things, you know, a few of them. Basically, if you've got a favourite die, remember, you can pop whatever that is in the middle and then put that round the edge. And you've got yourself quite a nice card. But I've got a few of these. I did buy them from Craft Stash possibly last year sometime. Um, this one's a thank you one, but obviously it'd be anything. That's a lovely one with sort of like Ricky Rack. Um, this one's under the weather card, quite nice. But obviously they'll cut, you know, they come with sort of a couple of bits and the odd words. I think they're about a fiver at the time. I think they were on offer. I think, I can't totally remember. But anyway, that was from Craft Stash, which is an online company. But like I say, I'm not going to say go out and buy that at all. I've got no affiliations with them. I'm just sort of telling you where I've got them from. But um, so anyway, this is what we're going to do. Here's one I've done earlier out of some pretty paper. And I just want to show you how you can get some different ideas. So all I've done is put that through my dye machine like that on the pretty paper here's a bit of card i don't know if you can see that it's actually moon pig you know from when i had some flowers delivered so i keep all my bits and pieces and i was thinking actually that might look quite nice as a basket so let's give it a go and also i've got these little pads that are quite nice which i thought they could um you know if you can sort of imagine um that cut out like that and so then you've got that in the background quite nice you know so um anyway so let's just pop this through there so let's just get my Sizzix big shock need need all your plates if you're new to crafting this is a big shop plus which um when i was a this is you know the first one i had a, a number of years ago now and i was going to get a smaller one and my my help is my source of information sometimes and basically he said yeah but you know then you're limited on what you can do where well, this is basically is a5 so and i i agree what he sort of then said at the time was basically you know you can do bigger things so now the trick here it's very hard to do this um, with the overhead camera in a sense I'm just lining that up as best I can because there's, you know, if you've got like this, this card has got some lines on. I'm a great lover of using up some of your bits and pieces too. So hang on. Um, if you need to, you can tape it down. But what I often find, if I then pop the other plate on there, preferably, she says, without it moving, I think it's quite straight. And you wind us through. Um, so I'm just, just put a bit of pressure on it. I wind it back again purely just because it's easier for the camera point of view. Back we go. If your plates like mine, okay, I wouldn't notice on this card particularly. If your plates are um, getting a bit worn, this is only the second set of plates I've had, I believe. Um, but what you're best to do is mark one. And then when it gets too much, because when I bought a new set, um, I marked that one. And that's what ended up being supposedly my top one, but they still get marked. So I've still got a brand new one. So although you buy a new set, you know, you can sort of, and I'm still using the old one. So eventually, if I want to then use another new one, that will become my old one, if that makes sense. So here we go. So, um. that old scrappy bit of card and i think actually pokey tool this is a sizzix pokey tool but you know a, a pin will do i'm a great believer if you're starting out say to this as a craft you do not have to go out and buy everything that's on the market you know i think because we can actually all often get carried away you know sometimes you see something oh i really like that but sometimes you know if you start to already get some stuff do something you know 
ever similar you know you do not have to have everything's on the market i believe anyway although i have personally have got a number of bits and pieces now just before i go and um, put these potentially in the bin if you wanted to you can do a totally different color and then paper piece so anyway just for easiness now the card i'm going to use is these which i think are five by five i often use a six by six card but these are five by five i think i got these from um the range they are two 220 grams so you know not bad uh, i think the ones my textures ones i use are 300 grams these aren't too bad but when you're then going to be pop, popping it on but see that fits really quite beautifully so if you wanted to that could you know literally be your card couldn't it but you could emboss it you know there's so many things you could do also I want to just, for quickness, I just want to pop on here, show you a card or a couple of cards and see where we go. And like I say, if that's you know, how you can get a bit of a different effect. Always remember when you're going to stick them down. Okay, that's that's quite all pale. But not everybody likes bright cards, do they? You know, so it depends on who your recipient is. I personally love blue, so this would sort of set me off to start with. So basically there you have got a couple of cards. But what I'm also going to say, when you've cut this out, you can sort of, what's that, what's that what they call that, um, the raised and the resist almost. You could, if you wanted to, then take all those bits that come out of there and use them in the background and make a different card from the other bits as well. So anyway, for easiness, we're just doing this. I would glue these down now with um, some glue the glue that I have in these little bottles is only PVA you know like sort of school PVA glue um, which you can buy quite a big bottle quite cheap I find it will stick perfectly all right. Some people, I think, worry about the warping of cards because I think PVA has quite a high water content. But I'm not, I'm putting enough on, but not, not so I'm drowning the card in it. You don't want it to be that it doesn't stick because there's nothing worse than the recipient re, um, getting something that has, you know, unsticks again. But there we go. So... Um, I quite like it with that beige behind there. Yeah. So if you wanted to. But what I tend to do, if I was now going to do a, a, a number of cards, I would lay something heavy on that for a few hours or pile a few up. And so it, you know, it sticks nicely. So let's just do this other one. Obviously, if you're watching from the UK, it's Mother's Day here now on Sunday, where I think in America, isn't it? It's a, it's a different date, isn't it? I don't know why they're different. But, you know, I don't think it's sort of anything is necessarily linked to the moon or anything, is it? Um, anyway, if you then wanted to, I'm going to show you what I have done, but just for ta save time, I'm just going to do this one. Let's say a little bit of glue. Make sure your card, always a good tip, is going to open the way you want it to. Because nothing worse than sticking it down and then realise you've popped it on the wrong side. So if you want to do a batch of these, okay, I'm going to do it like so for a Mother's Day card. Um, but, yeah, if you wanted to do, see, let's just start to come up there. So that would need a little bit more glue under there, where that goes. These little glue bottles you can buy. Let's just put that on there. Now, what I just want to show you, here's a couple more I've done. This one is where I've cut out some scrap paper, put it through again, done the green and the red, and we've got the mirror card at the back. This one's another one of these. The kiss one, I think it is. Okay, I'm sure that's the one I put in the background, which looks quite nice. So cards made quite differently, but glue on there, which is annoying. But I think I can take that off with a rubber. 
okay so use some sort of scrappy paper there and did the tulips but can you see here i didn't quite cut it quite right because the, the scraps i used i didn't realize when i put because i actually cut the two layers together and that's left that there so it doesn't have to go in the bin your recipient wouldn't need, need to know that i've then stamped out um which came out of here just happy mother's day onto a bit of pink and a bit of and i actually thought the pink probably looks better on there so what i'm then going to do with my heart i do believe i've just now i do this sometimes i have them ready and then i've mislaid it so um okay two seconds Well, as far as I know, ooh, that fit in there. Um, yeah, that's quite nice. We'll do that. Um, I did have a, um, a stitched heart, but I put it to one side for now doing this, and then I've obviously put it out of the way. So I'm using my little Sizzix, which, you know, there are other brands on the market. Um, which is really, really, really handy for these little things. I'll tell you what, actually, I've got in my cupboard here, I've got an oldie one, um, which I bought, um, which is brilliant. I tend to put another bit of cardboard over the top, and then with the cutting plate through there, there we have that can go on there but what i would then do i think to put it there i think i would raise that up put a little bit of this tape on the back there we should just raise it up a little bit just allows it to coordinate but also to pop and it also sort of covers up my little bit of a mistake there okay so there we have happy mother's day now i could do another heart on there or on white but obviously cream um or you could have any sentiment at all so this is quite an easy little card I say with with the mirrored mirrored card, it is beautiful. I don't know how well you can sort of see this in the light. The colours it creates really is lovely, but it does mark if you put any glue on it too. So um, anyway, so just some ideas how that one set of dies. You know, you can just have it just cut out on some pretty paper. You can have some backing paper that's really pretty, then some plain, which this on here is that mirrored card, which looks quite nice. Like I say, I'm leaving these without a sentiment because they, there's no reason why these can't be a happy birthday, um, thank you, any sentiment you like you can put on there. This one is obviously a Mother's Day and this one's very pale, but remember this was just an old bit of packaging perfectly nice, you know. But if you wanted to, just another where I've cut um, the flowers out you could then where all these bits come out save them and pop them in you know so um anyway hope you enjoyed just a really good little pop on quick card here and um till the next time thank you very much if you have enjoyed push that subscribe button and i'll see you very soon thank you very much cheers then